She has been described as a trailblazer, even by critics. The first female premier in Ontario, the first openly gay premier. But Kathleen Wynne is leaving politics, announcing she will not run in the next election. She talked to me today about her successes and failures, Doug Ford, and leaving Queen's Park at the end of her term. It is, I think people have used the word bittersweet. It is that. She stayed in politics far longer than expected after losing the last election in a crushing defeat. It would come into the legislature with a vastly reduced party and, and, and stare across at Premier Doug Ford. What was that like? Was it, was it a kick in the stomach every time? You know, it was at first, I'll be honest. It was, uh, it was tough at first. And um, not, that it's, not that it's easy now. Once tough foes, Premier Doug Ford paid tribute to his predecessor in the legislature today. As a person, I have the utmost respect for you. You've walked a mile in my shoes. During the, during the, during the election, I always said, everyone said, how is Kathleen Wynne as a person? I said, she is super nice. It's interesting to watch the two of you in the legislature over the last couple of years because only the two of you really know what this is like. Yeah. What advice would you give to the Premier right now? Planning is incredibly important, you know, in a, in a crisis like this. And I think that at the root of the problem is a lack of planning and a lack of listening to people who really have the frontline information. Do you have some empathy for the Premier? on what's on his shoulders right now? I mean, nobody, no politician signed up expecting to be in the middle of a pandemic. Of course. I know that he wakes up at three in the morning. I know that he is worried. Um, you know, I'm not even premier anymore and I wake up at three in the morning because I, I know what that feels like. Um, so I, I, have, I have a lot of empathy for that. But that, does, that doesn't absolve one of the responsibility to do the planning and make the investments that are necessary. Kathleen Wynne was the education minister when all-day kindergarten was started. She cites that as one of her accomplishments, but wishes she had been able to implement her plan for accessible childcare. As for her biggest failure... I don't have a lot of regrets, but I think if I could go back and redo those years as Premier, particularly once the, uh, we had the election in 2014, um, I think there were times when... I didn't listen as much as I should have, you know, and we can we can talk about electricity prices. Um, you know, that's probably the prime example. In one sentence, how would you like history to remember you? I'd like to be remembered as a decent, honest politician who did her best to improve people's lives. The former premier says she isn't sure what she will do next, musing it might be work on poverty or indigenous issues.